my dear little friends. Welcome to Dive into Pooja's Books. Hello, my dear little friends. Welcome to Dive into your books. Oh, wow. Today, we have a little young reader with us. He is Yug. And he is welcoming you to Dive into Yug's Books. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Today, we are going to talk about mammals. We'll see which animals are mammals and which are not. So we'll find which animals give birth to young ones, to babies and which animals lay eggs from which after some days the little ones hatch. Let me now tell you the basic meaning of a mammal. A mammal is an animal that breathes air, has a backbone and grows hair at some point during its life. In addition, all female mammals have glands that can produce milk. Mammals are among the most intelligent of all the living creatures because the mammals have the organ called the brain and hence they are intelligent. Mostly, all the mammals give birth to young ones. Only very few of mammals, like the huge ant eaters, they lay eggs. Otherwise, most of the other mammals give birth to little young ones. And all the female mammals have the glands that can reproduce milk for their little ones. So, as we know, that mammals have well developed lungs and they are warm blooded animals. By warm-blooded, we mean that they can maintain their body temperature even in cold temperatures. Whenever the temperature changes, they can maintain their own body temperature. So, they get adapted to live in different kind of temperatures. What are non-mammals? Typically, animals which lay eggs and do not give birth to the young ones are the non-mammals. They lack memory glands which can produce milk and they lack body hairs. They don't have body hairs. They don't possess the pair of external ears, penne. So they don't have the external ear. Birds, reptiles and fish are the non-mammals. Animals which have backbones are called vertebrates. Mammals, birds, fish, reptiles, amphibians are vertebrates. They have backbones. Insects and worms, they do not have backbones. and they, So they are not vertebrates or irvertebrates. Animals which lay eggs are called opivirus. So birds are opivirus. Penguin is opivirus. However, bat is not opivirus. Bats are mammals because they have the external ears and they give birth to young ones. Let's talk about some animals now and see if they give eggs or babies. Let's see if our young reader Yug knows about it. What do you think Yug? What does the birds give? Egg. Egg. Perfect. The, big, the birds, they lay eggs as and we saw in the Dive into Pooja's books, birds video, how they take care of their eggs, the mummy bird, they sit on the egg for a long time, for a long number of days to keep it warm and then the little birds hatch from it. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Yes. How about elephants? Elephants. They give baby elephants. Yes, they don't lay eggs. Do you know the elephants? They are pregnant, which means that they keep the baby in their tummy or they form the baby in the tummy for about more than one and a half years. And at one time, they lay, they give birth to only one elephant. <laughs> Isn't that interesting, Yuk? Yeah. Yeah. And in the lifetime of an elephant, they can be pregnant for around 7 to 8 times. So, in their lifetime, they can give birth to 7 to 8 baby elephants differently. Okay, how about dinosaur? Uh, egg. Yes, dinosaur lay eggs. So, dinosaurs are known to be the ancestors of current birds. 
and they used to lay eggs. How about dogs? Cats. Dogs. Cats. Dogs. They give birth to baby dogs. So let's watch this interesting video from another young reader, Sachi, where she gives us a demo of how the mother dog give birth to little baby dogs. Hello, and we are talking about animals and how they give birth to the young. And I am here to tell you about dogs. Did you know a dog is a mammal, so it does not lay eggs. It directly gives birth to its puppy, like humans. A dog can carry its puppies for about 53 to 68 days. A mom dog can give birth to 4 to 8 puppies according to its size and the breed and time. I'll give you a demonstration of how it gives birth. After one dog, one puppy, it stops. Then the other one comes out. And then Thank you, Sachi. That was so informative. So, okay, as we see, the dogs give birth to around four to five little puppies at a time. And then they are mama, they produce milk and the, they take care of their little ones just like other mammals. How about snake? Snake? Eggs. Eggs. Snake lay eggs. So, snake are reptiles like snake, crocodile and they lay eggs. How about frogs? Eggs. eggs. So frogs, they are amphibians. Frogs, when they are born, they don't have the lungs to breathe in the air. So they normally have gills when they are born and they breathe inside the water just like the fish. And when they grow older, they develop lungs and they can breathe air. So they are amphibians who can live in water as well as land. How about whale? <coughs> whale. Whale. Whale give birth to little whale because whale is a mammal. It can breathe air. It has lungs. So it comes to the surface of the water. It breathes air. And it's a mammal and it lay. Uh, it gives birth to baby whales. Okay. How about humans, Yug? Human. Human babies. Human babies. Just like you are my baby. Yeah. So human are mammals too. And they also give normally birth to one baby at a time. Sometimes it can be twins. Okay. How about fish other than whale? Because whale is a mammal. How about fish? Egg. Fish lay eggs and they lay a lot of eggs at a time. Yes. Um, which animal more? Monkey. Monkey. Yes, monkey gives baby monkeys. Giraffe. 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 And giraffe also gives birth to one giraffe at a time. And she is also pregnant for about 15 to 20 months. So giraffe, as the size of the animal grows, they need longer time for the baby to be formed and hence they are pregnant for longer time. How about cat? Cat or tiger or lion, the cat family? Cat. Little cat, yes, because they are mammals too. Correct. High five. Yay. The cats give birth to normally four to five Little kittens at a time. Yeah. Yeah. So interesting. Yeah. <laughs> How about pigs? Uh, pigs. Little pigs. Yes. Pigs are also mammals. You know what? Pigs give birth to around 10 pigs at a time. Yay. <laughs> Which more? We talked about reptiles. We talked about amphibians. We talked about birds. We talked about fish and we talked about most of the mammals. Okay, isn't this a lot of information? And you find out more about other animals like for how long they are pregnant, 
how many babies they can give birth to at a time which gives birth to eggs which gives birth to babies and it's a lot of fun information to find out i hope you like this video press the like button don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks for more to watching happy learning happy reading can you say bye to them bye say happy learning happy reading happy learning happy reading see you next time